Sacramento has lost its title as the county that got it right, keeping cases down and bending the curve. Things. I think people have been affected by message fatigue and cabin fever, and that has led them to throw caution to the wind to an unfortunate degree. The county's public health director, Dr. Peter Bielinson, says re-education is key. In the past two weeks, cases in Sacramento have increased by more than 93 percent at 2,200 cases. Many of you have asked ABC10, are other viruses creating false positives in coronavirus tests? There are a few other coronaviruses, including one that causes the common cold, but nothing that I've seen indicates that there's a large false positive rate because of that. And do young people make up the majority of cases? Yes, the majority of new cases are patients younger than 45. Particularly young people are gathering again, having extended family and friend gatherings, um, etc. Bielinson says it's important to follow health guidelines. So some have asked, is it really true you can't sing at church? If so, when does it take effect? That's true, and it's been in effect for a while. In guidelines released in late May, the state prohibits singing for houses of worship. Bielinson explains why. When you sing, you expel more air, and there's more aerosolization, and actually it, it kind of defeats the purpose of six feet of um, social distancing because it actually spews out um, virus for more than probably 10 or 12, 10 or 12 feet. And finally, some have asked, how is Sacramento's health system holding up? Right now, the hospitals seem comfortable. We have plenty of surge capacity, but it's extremely important that we don't overload our hospitals, and so we've got to start bending the curve again.